Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your uh, April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see uh, the person that you're in no contact with, if it's a good idea for you to reach out to them, and what will happen if you do have communication with this person. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message did it resonate with you? You may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, or other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, um, uh, support me on there too. So Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius here. What's going on with Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius in love, the person that they are uh, in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Aquarius to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for April 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Hermit, Virgo energy. I would say no. This person's definitely doing some deep inner work here. Introspecting, self-reflecting here. This person needs space and time to... Um, kind of like go within and really face themselves here with a queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy with the ace of swords here okay um with that queen of wands here i mean you could have completely cut this person out anyway here aquarius with the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo and then we have the seven of swords here you know if this person came in for came in with an apology here okay if this person could reach out to you and communicate with communicate it with you you just don't trust this person's apology here not quite sure what this person did, but I do feel like this person lied to you. This person was deceptive towards you. This person really took a lot from you here. You know, just not things, but energetically here. Uh, tell me the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person has consistently covered up one lie with another lie with another lie with another lie with another lie. You just don't know what's true about this person. This person could have lied about where they were born. This person could have lied about their background here. This person could have lied about, you know, where they went to school or something like that, uh, or where they work. But whoever this is, I feel like this person has a tendency to lie a lot here. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Hermit, uh, not the Hermit, the King, a Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Ace of Swords here, the Ace of Swords here, and the Five of Pentacles. Could be a situation that you have, could have provided this person some sort of financial support here and now this person doesn't have any thing or that they don't have a lot they could be circling back around to you because they want something here from you some of the queen of wands here the queen of wands and the hangman piscean energy seems like this person is unable to let you go here okay uh seems like this person's still sort of like thinking about a happily ever after here with you all right, I don't really feel like this person's going to take any sort of action here. I just feel like this person will continue to walk away. Yeah, um, I do feel like they're walking away or, or that they they are continuing to walk away because I feel, feel like this person's really embarrassed about their behavior here, okay? Um, you know, sometimes lies is a way of covering up something that they don't want to reveal or share to anybody here. It's sort of like a form of self-preservation or protection, okay? So uh, what else do we have here for Aquarius? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Aquarius and the person that they are in no contact with? For uh, April 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. With the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With the Nine of Swords, Sleeper, Aquarius, Gemini, this person's definitely losing sleep over you. This person is very, very, very much in love with you. And they feel like this person's definitely hit a crossroads in their life here. Um, you know, it's kind of like do or die. You know, it's kind of like, do they stay this way or they make a change here, you know? So, you know, I do feel like this person does, definitely has a pattern of carrying out behavior like this. We have the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, all right? And then get two more here with the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Wands. This person is very, very, very much in love with you. I feel like this is an individual that loves you in a way where you might have showed them something here that they didn't even realize here. Yeah. 
And I feel like this person has you to thank for that, for them, for you helping them to come to this realization here. We have Six of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I actually don't really see this coming back together. Yeah, I just see this person continuing to miss you here. Not really taking any action here, okay? Uh, I do feel like this person's definitely trying to change directions in their life here, okay? They're definitely trying to make a change or that they're deciding on this here, but I, I actually don't see this coming together. Yeah, it's kind of like an energy of like, they love you, they're in love with you, uh, they want you, but then they can't have you. They know that they will let you down or hurt you or disappoint you again. So I feel like this person's trying to save you from getting hurt by not being in close contact here with you or being with you at this time. It seems like this person is very self-aware of what they are about here. With the Two of Wands, why is the Two of Wands here? The Two of Wands here in the Fool. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. Yeah, this person is very much in love with you. They feel like they have unfinished business here with you. Um, this separation, this no contact period, is hitting this person pretty hard. This person is coming to a lot of major realizations here, a lot of epiph epiphanies here. And I do feel like this person is definitely on the cusp of making some sort of change here. Okay, let's see what else we have here for Aquarius. Ugh. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you here. This person sees you in such high regard. I mean, they see you see moving in together with you. They see marriage here with you. They see having babies here with you. They just see a lot of growth and expansion, a lot of potential here. Seems like this person is very intuitive. Seems like this person might get visions here. Yeah, I feel like now this person maybe is in this energy of really trusting their body, trusting their intuition here. They're definitely realizing that you and this person are soulmates here. I mean, there could be a strong car, like a, like a soul contract uh, between you and your person here. And, you know, it could be a situation that this person definitely wants to rewrite that contract here. I mean, you could be in this, uh, you could be in this energy of wanting to break the soul contract with this individual and move on from this and just block this person out or have firm boundaries with this person. Okay, two of pentacles here. Well, yeah, this person's definitely coming to this. This is hitting, this, this no contact period is hitting them really hard. I do feel like they want to reach out to you, but I feel like they also know it's best not to uh, because it's not the right time. Okay, because I feel like the flames in this situation, you know, hasn't really simmered down yet. You know, it's still kind of like very hot and very volatile here. So no conversation is going to be had here with the Nine of Cups here and the Magician. It's kind of like this person's putting out there in the universe that they want you back and they hope that you will come back around. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.